What strange manner of days we live in, that in a world where crossovers of all size and shapes seemingly inundate our roads, that a manufacturer would spend time, energy, money to build a two-seat, rear-wheel drive sports car. Face it, Canada's prime months for enjoyable top-down driving are so short that makes the purchase of any convertible rather self-indulgent. However, there's nothing really wrong with that. Without dissecting every nut and bolt in the car, it seems to me that the Z4 is pure BMW. It has the look, it has the feel, it has the sound, and it has the performance that is expected. Is it a convertible first, a sports car second? Or vice versa, considering it's the muscular 2020 Z4 M40i being tested and not the milder S-Drive 30i, I'd go with the latter. Under the hood, a turbocharged 3 liter inline 6 cylinder, 382 horsepower. Sure, purists will bemoan the lack of a manual gearbox, but the 8-speed Steptronic sport transmission with paddles knocks off shifts jiffy quick, the shorter ratios for the transmission's lower gears greatly aiding acceleration. The automatic tranny also features launch control for accelerating hard from a standing start with maximum traction. BMW claims 4.1 seconds for the M40i to hit 100 kilometers an hour, which considering the Roadster weighs a hefty 1,643 kilograms, is plenty speedy. And the engine makes the music to match its power, especially in Sport Plus mode, where the exhaust snaps, crackles and pops with each upshift or downshift. The Z4's ride and handling is mostly a positive blend of comfort and sport, but the weight, which is felt in higher speed cornering or when making abrupt transitions, is a bit of a downside. Additionally, the variable power assist steering feels a bit artificially heavy at speed, notably in the sport modes, of which there are three, and it's a bit slow to respond. That said, the M40i goes where it's pointed and the M Sport suspension does yeoman work, soaking up tarmac thumps and bumps. The upside is that the the ride, despite there being a sport suspension underneath, is actually quite livable. Even in Sport Plus mode, the highest setting for performance, the ride is decent. It's not going to beat you up. This is a car that you can travel for hours in and at the end of the day, it's not going to chew you up and spit you out. Like all good European sports cars, the Z4 M40i is not going to be cheap. $76,100 is the starting point. This tester, just under $85,000. Sure, you can buy a lot of cars. In comparison, what would you buy? A Porsche Boxster? Some AMG version of the SLC Mercedes? Jaguar F-Type? They're all good. And the object here is not to compare them directly with the Z4. It's just merely to point out the fact that these days where cars are starting to get more homogenized, that there's talk of electrification, there's talk of autonomy, that there still exists a market for a good high-end sports car. For Driving.ca, I'm Brian Harper.